Welcome back to the channel, guys. My name is Gordon. We are back with another video. Today, we're talking about BitTensor Tau and why having just 12 Tau could be monumental by 2031. We're also going to explore if Tau can get into the top 10 crypto tokens and maybe even into the top five. As always, if you enjoy the content, please make sure to smash that thumbs up button below, hit subscribe, hit that bell notification icon, and you've got a completely free copy of the rise of Bitcoin waiting for you in the description of this video. Grab that down below and let's talk about Tau. Okay, so first and foremost, Tau is currently sitting at $373 at the time of recording this video. And if we jump over to CoinGecko and CoinMarketCap, just to look at what's happening here very quickly from a market cap perspective, Tau, according to CoinGecko at least, is sitting at about a four, sorry, a $3.5 billion market cap and the 44th largest token by overall market cap in crypto. Again, looking at the list here on CoinGecko, they do include liquid staked versions of many different assets here in their top tokens list. And so jumping over to CoinMarketCap, we can compare and contrast and think about how Tau is actually the 33rd largest crypto by overall market cap, sitting at that $3.5 billion area as well. If we jump into the AI sector specifically, we know BitTensor Tau is the largest AI crypto protocol when comparing it against competitors like Near, Render, Filecoin, Fetch, Injective, The Graph, etc. And very interestingly, Tau has also been significantly outperforming those other top crypto AI tokens by about 161% over the past 407 days. So lots of interesting insights at a very high level here. So that distance between Tau and the top 10 at this moment in time, it's pretty substantial. I mean, Cardano being a top 10 crypto sitting at somewhere in the region of $33 billion, you're looking at Tau needing to do somewhere between an eight to nine X in order to be getting into the top 10 crypto assets by overall market cap. So the distance between Tau and the top 10 is definitely substantial, but as we'll see in a moment, there is lots of stuff happening in the background and under the hood with Tau that's gonna help us move up the ranks, in my opinion, over the next few years in this crypto space. One of those things, in my opinion, is the introduction of many of these different Tau treasury companies here over the past few months. We've seen Tau Synergies, XTau and Oblong leading the way, Cefalo in Sweden as well. But these Tau treasury companies are holding, in effect, somewhere in the region of, you know, tens of thousands of Tau. We're looking at entering the hundreds of thousands over the past week or so, with Tau Synergies getting up to 42,000 Tau, XTau at 41k, Oblong at 21k, and then Cefalo with just under 3,000 Tau on their books. But this method or this strategy being taken out of the Bitcoin playbook with MicroStrategy and what they've been doing with Michael Saylor and accumulating Bitcoin on their balance sheet as a treasury company, you're now seeing dedicated treasury companies being created specifically with the goal of continuing to accumulate more Tau. This is institutional money allocating into Tau over the past few months, and this is only set to continue. And when you begin to see what's happening under the hood with all of these different subnets, it's very easy to understand why. I'm going to talk about Void here just momentarily because BitTensor subnets are now available on Base and Solana, and this is opening up the floodgates in order to allow more retail capital flow into Tau from an interoperable perspective. Again, I've done videos on Void AI. You can check that out. The main point I'm making here is that when retail investors come into the market here later in the cycle, <clears throat> it's going to be very easy for them to purchase subnet alpha tokens directly on base and Solana by using solutions like Void AI that are making it very seamless for us to see capital flowing into BitTensor over the coming months. The next thing I want to touch on very briefly here is the halving event that's coming up for BitTensor Tau. Again, taking a leaf out of Bitcoin's book when it comes to the halvings and emission schedule, Tau has its first halving event happening, uh, expected to happen um, around November, December of 2025. So we're coming up on this first halving event once we hit 10.5 million tokens in circulation. If we jump back over to CoinMarketCap and look at Tau very, very briefly here, we can see that roughly speaking, we've got about 9.6 million Tau tokens in circulation at this moment in time. So we've got about another 900,000 tokens to enter circulation before we have that halving event. And right now there's about 7,200 tokens per day 
entering circulation, which means we'll hit this number somewhere around December of this year. So that is exciting. And of course, we saw parabolic growth with Bitcoin's price in the immediate aftermath of its first halving event. So that first halving happening for Tau in December could act as another acceleration mechanism in the broader scheme of things to help push Tau prices higher and obviously help to push the price of many different subnets much, much higher as well. So the final point I want to make here is touching in on why you only need to have potentially 12 tau in order to actually become a millionaire by the time we get to the year 2031. I know that seems quite outlandish as a statement, but let's break down the numbers here very, very quickly. The precedence for this, though, comes from the fact that we could see tau beginning to follow Reed's law, which basically means that as a network of networks, we're going to potentially see more exponential growth with Tau and its ecosystem compared to Bitcoin. Bitcoin has historically followed Reed's law, sorry, Metcalf's law, which means that the value of a network grows exponentially with more and more users, V equals N squared, i.e. essentially as the network grows and more people adopt it, the network itself becomes more valuable. With the subnet architecture that BitTensor has, and I've done many different videos about this on the channel, guys, so go and check those out, but BitTensor itself acts more like a network of networks and therefore could follow Reed's law, which would mean a more exponential growth curve compared to Metcalf's law with V equals two to the N. If we visualize that and think about what it looks like, it basically means that given that Bitcoin followed this pink line in terms of its trajectory and growth with Metcalf's law, if Tau and BitTensor is to follow Reed's law, we could see a much more exponential growth curve with its adoption. And obviously, you know, extrapolating that out, a more exponential growth curve with how quickly it could reach a $1 trillion overall market cap. Okay. Bitcoin took about 13 years to reach a $1 trillion market cap from 2008 to 2021. And if we see Tau following Reed's law, we could hit that $1 trillion market cap as soon as 2031, which would be about two years sooner compared to Bitcoin. Okay. If we break down the math of what that actually means, by the year 2031, we're going to have, I'm giving a bit of a snapshot here, but by the year 2031, we're going to have about 16.5 million Tau in circulation. Remember that halvings emission schedule we just looked at. If we fast forward all the way to 2031 here, we're going to have somewhere around 16 and a half million Tau in circulation by that time. If we get to that $1 trillion market cap for Tau in a quicker time period versus Bitcoin by 2031, that means we divide those one that $1 trillion market cap by 16.5 million tokens in circulation. That gives you a $60,000 price per Tau token. And the reason I say having just 12 Tau today is because you can also stack and stake additional APY with staking yield over the next six years by staking 12 tau today and generating roughly 6% staking APY. I've assumed a decrease in that staking APY, by the way, because over the past number of months, this has been closer to eight to 15%. So I'm even baking in a discount or a diminishing APY for that staking yield, which will probably happen over the next few years, but 12 tau today with 6% staking APY over the next six years gets you to 17 tau by the year 2031 and 17 tau multiplied by $60,000, which we saw just a moment ago, gets you to a $1 million portfolio allocation with just 17 tau in your bag. And that is why the power of compound interest and the power of decentralized permissionless artificial intelligence with BitTensor Tau could make you a millionaire by 2031. Of course, nothing in this video is financial advice, guys. Always do your own research. This is pure speculation and conjecture, but obviously thinking about the big picture here, thinking about Reed's law versus Metcalf's law, thinking about BitTensor acting potentially as a network of networks, touching on the fact that we're seeing the floodgates opening, being able to purchase BitTensor Tau and Subnet Alpha tokens across other blockchains and protocols and seeing literal public companies across the world, US, Canada, and Europe continuing to allocate to Tau and creating these special purpose vehicles for the sole purpose of accumulating more BitTensor over the next few years. It is a phenomenal opportunity in my opinion, and we'll have to wait and see how it plays out. But that's why getting just 12 Tau today 
could make you a millionaire by 2031. That is it for today's video, guys. I hope you enjoyed the breakdown. Drop me a comment below. What do you think? Where do you think the price of Tau can get to by the year 2031? Have you run the numbers? Are you thinking about it differently compared to what I'm looking at? Drop a comment below to let me know. As always, if you enjoy the content, please just take three seconds right now. Just smash that thumbs up button. It really helps spread the good word about the content and the channel. So hit that thumbs up button. Make sure to subscribe. Hit that bell notification icon. And like I said at the beginning, you've got a completely free copy of The Rise of Bitcoin linked in the description. Grab it down below. My gift to you. And we'll catch you in the next one.